Welcome to Xyron Creatopia. Today I'm going to show you one of the many great features that comes with this fantastic new machine, the adhesive and laminate 12-inch cartridges. When you get your machine, there's going to be a permanent adhesive cartridge inside and already ready for you to go. So when you're ready to use the machine, you want to lift your tray up and out, and you're just going to press it in, you'll feel it set itself into place. And one of the really neat features about this great Creatopia machine is that the handle actually folds back for easy storage. And when you're ready to use it, you just pull it out, and that also sets itself into place. I'm going to show you how to use um, decorative edge 12 by 12 paper is hugely popular these days, but it's sometimes hard to get it um, sticky all the way around when you're trying to use it on a scrapbook page or on a wall hanging. With the 12-inch cartridges, you just slide it into the machine, and you crank the handle, and this is going to give you edge-to-edge -edge adhesive, which is perfect if you're working on altered projects or um, really need to make sure that the paper is going to stick down all the way around for you. So you're going to slide the cut button, and that's going to go ahead and um, cut the paper for you. And then you just peel off. You actually want to rub around the edges, especially if you're using um, really intricate paper, maybe lace paper or something that's got a, a die cut feel to it, and that's going to make sure that the adhesive is all around the edge. Then you just want to peel this back, and we'll just toss that right on the floor. Now you're going to peel this off, and you actually have a 12 by 12 piece of paper that is a sticker. So this would stick if you wanted to do it on canvas, if you wanted to do it on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, which I'm going to do for you right now. You just lay it right on the center of your page, and that is on there for good. And it's, it's just beautiful, and this is a great way to use the new machine. Now I'm going to show you how to change out the cartridges. There are four cartridges that you can get for the Creatopia. Permanent adhesive, uh, repositionable adhesive, fabric adhesive, which is great, and also two-sided laminate. Um, I'm going to switch out the two-sided laminate cartridge and show you how to use it. When you are changing out cartridges, you want to fold your tray back up into position, and then you're going to um, take the handle. There's a positioning button right in the center of the handle. You're going to press in and slide your handle back to position three. You'll notice there's a one, two, three sticker on the side of your machine. We're rolling it back to position three, and it will lock itself into place. Then you're going to just pull your cartridge straight up and out and set it down. And take your next cartridge, in this case, the two-sided laminate. You're going to slide it in. There are two black rollers inside the machine. You always want to make sure your material flap is in between the two rollers, because that's going to allow it to flow through the machine for you. Then you want to press your positioning button again and put it into position number two. When you're using permanent adhesive, uh, repositionable adhesive, and also two-sided laminate, you always want to have it in position number two. Again, you lift up your tray, press it out, insert it back in. I'm actually going to be using a map to demonstrate the laminate. My husband loves to use, I'm sure he's going to be thrilled, I'm telling everyone, loves to use this machine to laminate his hunting maps and things he uses for work. Again, you just roll your piece of paper through the cartridge. When it clears the uh, clear bar in the back, you're going to press down on the cut button, slide it across, and you've got a laminated map. And you can trim around the edges if you need it to be a little closer. Um, but this is really perfect for not only for maps, scrapbooking projects, recipe cards, newspaper articles, kids' projects. The possibilities are just endless. Once you're done with your project and you're ready to store your machine, you always want to store it with the tray facing up and with your handle pressed in so it'll fit nicely on the shelf or in your scrap room. For more information on Xyron Creatopia, check out xyron.com.